Finally tonight, the government said last week it's temporarily delaying a mandate that rear view cameras be installed in every new vehicle sold. But the rule is coming by the end of this year. With the reasons why, here's Mark Strassman. Two-year-old Cameron Gulbranson was killed in his own driveway in 2002 when an SUV backing up ran him over. The driver was his own father, pediatrician Greg Gulbranson. The pain doesn't get less, it just changes. Everyone was naive. I was naive. I had no idea. I was a pediatrician going over home safety for children, you know, when they're born about, you know, watch out for extension cords and watch out for all the little things and then keep your cab that's locked. I never even told them to get a camera. Drivers in ever larger vehicles killed 448 children in backup accidents between 2006 and 2010, more than double the previous five years. CBS News transportation safety analyst Mark Rosenker explains how the accidents generally happen. It's called the bye-bye syndrome when in fact uh, children will run out to say goodbye to their uncles, to their parents, to their grandparents and the drivers did not see them. Rearview cameras are standard on 45 percent of 2012 passenger vehicles from luxury sedans to this Honda CRV which sells for $22,000. Even a small SUV like this Honda has a big blind spot. In the side view mirrors, all's clear. Nothing in the rear view mirror either. But if I actually backed up right now, look what's at risk behind the SUV. That stroller right in the blind spot, which is easy to see with this rear view camera. For a five foot eight driver, the average rear blind zone is 13 feet long for a midsize sedan, 19 feet long for a large SUV, 24 feet long for a pickup truck. The expected federal mandate for cameras in all new vehicles by the end of 2014 is part of a 2008 congressional car safety reform bill named for Cameron Gulbranson. If it wasn't for him, this wouldn't have gone through. So I would say to him, you know, I'm proud of you. Look what you did. I'm, I'm devastated. I'm so sorry. But, you know, we did something. The average cost of adding the car camera is under $200. Eliminating the rear blind zone could save an estimated 112 lives a year. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.